making an exchange at the mall. I don't really see myself being here forever. I just think it's such a high stress level. video for those of you who don't know me my name is jasmine don't forget to follow my social media at jasminers today's video is another day in the life i have quite a few things today it is 11 30 right now well 11 15 i have my very first life coach talking i'm gonna go ahead and do that it's online but i should probably start doing that pretty quickly um, you saw my to-do list earlier. I have quite a few things to catch up on. I'm just drinking this Strawberry Zen by Revive Superfoods. This is actually really, really good. Probably one of my favorite ones. Um, there was like the spinach one that I really liked as well. I feel like it would have been really good if I added like peanut butter. But these are really nice if you're like on the go, always like I am. So yeah, that's that. I have like a little notebook. I want to write stuff afterwards so after this i am going to make an exchange at the mall because my dad didn't like his gift so i'm going to exchange it for something a little bit different um at louis vuitton but yeah i think this appointment is 11 30 to 12 30. i think i'm going to log on right now just to make sure that um i'm able to do that on time oh no my camera's gonna die but the ac just turned on so i'm gonna go log on and I will tell you how it goes after this session. So I kind of finished a while ago um, regarding my meeting. Um, it was actually not a therapy session, it was more like an assessment. So it wasn't anything too, too crazy. Um, it only lasted about 30 minutes. They made me do some assessment and then they kind of like talked to me a little bit. Um, I've been working on my essay back there for a little bit, but I think I'm pretty much done. I am going to have Alex look it over and then maybe my sister look it over and then I'm going to submit it and then I also need to go to the mall so let's go ahead and do that. Also freaking I need to renew my license soon. My glasses on this. I also need to get something to eat so I'm just going to make some dumplings. Yum. Also, if you don't have this, 10 out of 10 recommend. There we go. It's the uh, fried. And you just put a little bit on each one, and it's so. But anyway, I love this podcast. It's Don't Keep Your Day Job. And that's what I'm listening to while I drive to South Coast. We out here trying to. The one that I wanted. I'll show you it later. Here it is. But my phone's gonna die. I think we go to Trader Joe's so that I can get some food for us to eat. Um, or maybe we'll pick up food. Out. We're not gonna buy anything we don't need. Oh. No. I'm about to charge my battery. Oh. oh. How was class, babe? It was good. I liked it. It was hard, but I think it was. I burned like a shit ton of calories. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's actually the next day. Um, I 
completely forgot to keep vlogging it yesterday because honest god I don't know um, I just got back from yoga it's about 11 the next day I made my smoothie again because I'm like Loki kind of obsessed with these these are really really good vegetables fruits and all that kind of stuff and I feel like it's a better alternative to caffeine I've been doing yoga like every single day that I'm not at work and I literally miss it so much yesterday I exchanged my dad's gift um, from Louis Vuitton I'm gonna close this because it's really like initially it was the sling bag and then I exchanged it for like a wallet I'm gonna show a picture over here and it's really a lot cuter actually because I like the monogram um, print on the wallet yeah that's what I did yesterday and me and Alex made burgers I'm gonna insert the Instagram video that I took because I forgot to vlog that too. I'm gonna be super honest, I haven't been really motivated to vlog. I don't know why. I guess it's because, I don't know, my life obviously isn't that interesting right now. Uh, I haven't actually posted in quite a while. I The vlog that was up two weeks before it actually went up, I just didn't have the motivation to edit the thumbnail, which is like, not that time consuming but i just like haven't had the motivation to do a lot lately i'm on this three days a week four days a week schedule and sometimes that can get a little bit exhausting but i don't know like lately i just haven't had a lot of motivation to do a lot which is like kind of annoying i kind of wanted to update you all because i know i've been mia for quite some time now so it's the end of february as i was filling out my application i realized wow like i'm a year and a half in my like ER nurse experience and my acute nursing experience. Crazy to think that that much time has gone by. Um, sometimes it feels like I've, it's been longer just because I work so many freaking hours. I wanted to talk a little bit about acute versus um, acute care versus outpatient. Well, I did do the flu vaccine and then also the COVID vaccine, and just seeing the. Um, just like clinical setting and non-acute setting. Don't get me wrong, I like really have learned so, so much. And there are some days where my patients are like, just like really, really amazing. And I have good days and I have bad days, but I think at the end of the day, for the sake of my like mental health and for the sake of, you know, like my stress levels, I think I am more veering towards going to an outpatient setting in the future and I love the ER and I think it's such a great place and I still picture myself working there for a few years you know what I mean like I still have a few years left in me to like you know my youth to keep going but I don't picture myself being in the ER or an acute setting in general forever um and I think it's really hard for a lot of people to understand that because it's just like equate the success to like the money and yeah you can make a lot of money because there's a lot of hours to work there's a lot of um overtime and there's always going to be shifts available for you to work and you can make a decent living but that's not all that i'm in it for we really do make changes and like you can see immediate changes in people's lives when you're in the er because you know we stabilize or they die and um i don't know i think it's just it's amazing what we do and it's amazing what everyone's doing in the er and acute care setting especially during this pandemic but i don't i don't really see myself being here forever i just think it's such a high stress level and i just in the future i want to be able to you know um not work weekends and work a normal schedule having a more structured routine like this is my nine to five and like i don't know i know everyone who goes into nursing goes in like oh my god i do not want to work five days a week and for me like that was never a selling point really i care more so about the flow of work as opposed to how many days i work because of the schedule that i'm on i only ever have like two days off and then i come back and then i have two days on and then you know it's kind of like a weird schedule i burnt out a little bit 
And I know everyone's gonna like come at me and tell me like you're way too young and you're way too early in your career to be burnt out. I don't know. There's just like so much out there. Like, there's just like so many opportunities out there and I'm just excited to, you know, like venture outside of like the hospital and the acute care setting and I wanna do so much more. Um so in the future I really wanna stay per diem in the ER, but I definitely want to venture out there's just like so many opportunities that's where my mind has been lately and I um I'm just like excited to you know venture into something new or learn what I don't like what I do like especially early on in my career if you've been watching my channel for a little while now you know that when I first started um one of the things I really wanted to gain from the ER was the experience of like emergency nursing so that I would be able to work in like a festival setting because I really, I didn't really necessarily think that I would want to do it as a job. I didn't know that they actually paid people to do that. I thought it was just like voluntary work, but I thought that was like really cool. So I really wanted to do that. But obviously festival settings are non-existent right now. What has everyone else been up to? What has like anyone who's been like you know, in my cute care for a while and like tried to venture out. What have you guys like done that's like outside of the hospital? Cause there's like so many opportunities and obviously I've done like a lot of per diem jobs, but still trying to look and figure out what it is that I like doing. So I'm gonna go shower now and then I really need to collect all my CEUs. I remember I like kept a folder on my other laptop. I better get on that. Anyway, I'm gonna shower. I'll see you guys later. God, I'm gonna cry. Look at this. This is so much. You have to put in the date completed, provider name, provider number, number of hours. I do not want to do that. To work. See, good thing I did it early because if you didn't do this early, first of all, I don't know how you're gonna get your CEUs, especially right now. They used to host, if you don't know what CEUs are, they're continuing continuing education and before they used to have these really fun like seminars and stuff that you can go to in person but you obviously have to pay i got mine all free because you can technically tncc which is my trauma nursing course wasn't free but it was paid by by my hospital yeah basically i didn't pay anything out of pocket for these so if you're really like, proactive about it you can always get these ceus done for free so i got mine from like unac um, some from the American Red Cross and then some just random online websites and then the TNCC and those were my main sources. Maybe I'll get ready and then I'll do this. Okay y'all, I completely procrastinated and I didn't do the rest of the CEUs but anyway, here's my outfit. I'm wearing this flannel, this little cute top and some shorts and then these necklaces. We're with Alex and we're here at Smoke and Fire. If you live around OC, 10 out of 10, recommend checking this place out. It's good. Let's go. Let's go inside. A little spin. Got a brisket, cheese, and then some Nashville chicken, some um, mac and cheese, and corn. Got the charcoal lemonade. Yeah, this is fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. waiting all day for this. I really? didn't even you, eat a real. Oh, I ate. You were craving this? No, I just like, I have to save my appetite. 